I'm Kelly Warner. The American Cancer Society estimates that doctors will diagnose more than 96,000 new cases of melanoma this year. While melanoma makes up only about 1% of all skin cancers, it is the most deadly form, and it's one of the most common cancers in young adults. Over the past decade, researchers have developed new treatments that are giving patients hope. At times, it seems we can go months in Oregon without really seeing the sun, but it's there. And years of exposure to unprotected skin can cause serious damage. A melanoma is a, is a cancer of the melanocyte, and the melanocyte is the, a cell in the body that produces melanin, or the pigment that the skin uh, changes when it tans. Dr. Keith Wells, a medical oncologist at Willamette Valley Cancer Institute's clinic in Corvallis, often sees people after that skin damage has developed into melanoma the least common type of skin cancer, but the deadliest. If it is on the skin, oftentimes it'll go to the lymph nodes that are nearest uh, to that skin site. If it uh, spreads beyond the lymph nodes, then it, the lung, the brain, and the liver are the three main places that it spreads to. Within the last decade, significant breakthroughs have been made in treating melanoma. The melanoma was one of the, uh, one of the cancers that was really a death sentence uh, 10, 15 years ago. And starting in 2011, then there's been a lot of different treatments developed for melanoma. It really has become the poster child for a lot of oncology. Two newer avenues of treatment for melanoma are targeted therapy, drugs that target parts of melanoma cells that make them different from normal cells, and immunotherapy, which boosts the body's own immune system to be able to identify the cancer cells and kill them. These treatments do not work for everyone, but roughly 50 to 60 percent of patients experience a long-term benefit. And if we think about historically, where patients who came in with metastatic melanoma had weeks to months to live, then now we're seeing patients live years and years, and it's, it's wonderful. Some of the drugs approved by the FDA to treat melanoma have also been approved to treat other types of cancers, including lung and liver cancer and some types of blood cancers. I'm Kelly Warner.